Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with my lipstick roulette number 31. So I know this video is very very overdue. It's been more than two weeks definitely. It's been about a month and a half since I uploaded my last lipstick roulette um, and that is basically because I've been crazy. I've been having something going on every single weekend for the last month and a half. Basically just from the weekend before I filmed my last update. So that's why I haven't really been able to film much. That's why I haven't really had much videos coming up. Uh, this weekend though I am free so I'm gonna try to film some videos uh, to catch up on some of my projects including this one. Uh, so if you see this outfit and this makeup in more videos you know why. But anyway let's just jump straight into the lipstick roulette and the first lipstick I have is this one right here which is from Dior. Uh, this one is one of their lip glow and, and the shade I have is number 10, uh, hollow pink. Looks beautiful in the bottle also when you swatch it. It's like a kind of sheer um, lipstick with just tons of glitters in it. Um, I wouldn't really say they're holographic, more kind of iridescent. Uh, because they have more like the blue and pink shift, but they don't really have the rainbow spectrum if that makes sense I do like this color But at the same time, I don't really like it. I feel like It can make my lips look a little bit like deadish um, I've been quite torn because I thought I was gonna love this um, I haven't really used it much since I picked it up to be honest and I thought I was gonna love it because I do love the original one I have the original one as well and I adore that one however this one doesn't really color change as much which I'm kind of surprised about um, and I am kind of torn because since it has like bluish shimmer in it it kind of make my lips look a little bit like whitish or like you know like concealer lip kind of thing um, but at, um, since it is quite an expensive lipstick and I know it's a really really good lip balm if anything else I do kind of want to keep it uh, and I also want to try it with different lip liners and stuff to see if that makes it look better or like if I have better exfoliated lips or whatever so as of now it's going to go in my maybe pile because I don't want to declutter it as of now because even if I don't want to wear it out as a lipstick I can still wear it as a lip balm at home. So that's why I'm putting this in my maybe pile to make it work and if I can't make it work as a lipstick I will kind of try to pan this as a lip balm. And there you have the lip glow swatched on my hand. Next up we have this lipstick right here which is from Colourpop. And it's one of their lipsticks in the Matte X formula uh, and the color is She Bad. This actually broke when I was swatching this so if you wonder what's happened there, it, the tip just broke off. Um, I think this melted a little bit because we had such a warm week last week and I think it may have melted a little bit. Um, it's completely fine to use though and I actually really really love this color. I was kind of scared it would be too light for me especially now we're in summer because I have gotten a little bit of a tan. But surprisingly enough, this looks beautiful. I love it right now on me. I think this is a really, really good lipstick if you just want to wear something kind of neutral and quite light. So if you have crazy eyes going on, even like the eye look I have today, which is quite like a colorful look for every day. And um, obviously when we're filming, it's completely fine. But if I wore this look in my everyday life, I would pair it with, so for example, like the lip I have today or this one. I think it looks really, really good with this eye look and I just think it's a beautiful, beautiful shade. For example, if you go for more of a bold eye. So as you can probably guess, I am keeping this one. I love the formula, as you all may know by now. Um, and yeah, I just think it's a beautiful color and this actually surprised me quite a bit. And there you have She Bad Swatch on my hand. Next up, we're going for the lipstick that I'm wearing. And it's this, this one right here, which is from MAC. And this is one of their powdered kiss lipsticks in the shade Scattered Petals. You have been seeing this in my, on my lips in the video so far, but I think it's just a beautiful kind of light, nudie, peachy color. I love this shade and I love the formula as well. It is kind of similar to the Matte X formula from Colourpop in a way, um, that it is really, really matte, but it's so com comfortable. I would say that this is even kind of lighter though, which is really good um, and I do love it. It is the only lipstick I have in this formula, um, but I'm just in love with it. The shade as well is so beautiful. I think it goes with a lot of different looks. 
and it is a really really nice kind of nudie color and I think it suits my coloring really well. The only thing though is the packaging of this. I'm not sure if you'll be able to pick it up on camera. It does look quite disgusting at the moment. I took this flying with me when I went back to Sweden and it's kind of like it got wet or something because the matte packaging, which I actually loved, has got it to kind of bump up and go all weird. Um, so I'm not sure what that is about. I'm gonna try to kind of remove it, um, but we'll see. I mean, it doesn't really affect the lipstick, but it's a bit of a shame, especially coming from MAC, which is a bit more and more higher end. I wasn't really expecting that, but either way, I think it's a beautiful lipstick and I definitely want to keep this one. Next up, we have another lipstick, and this one is from MAC again, but this is one of their regular lipsticks in the satin formula, and the shade is Snob. Snob is a really beautiful shade. Um, it's quite a unique pink. Um, it's a very, very blue toned pink. I think it's beautiful, but you have to wear it with quite a specific look. Every time I wear this, or every time I see it, it looks very like retro to me. I'm not sure why, but it just does. But I still really, really love it. Um, like I said though, it is quite a specific shade, and because of that I don't reach for it very often. And I do love this shade, and the formula is really, really good, and I do love my MAC lipsticks. So I will be keeping this for now. But what I will do is I will compare this to other lipsticks in my collection because I feel like I only kind of need one shade like this in my collection in this formula. So if I have something similar, I will just choose one of them. But yeah, I love this shade as of now, uh, but it will be going in my maybe pile because of that reason. And there you have the MAC snob on my hand. And I think I forgot to show you the other MAC lipstick, uh, the scattered pillow one, and that is that on my hand. So the final lipstick that we have is one of the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams in the shade Milan. This again is a beautiful kind of springy shade. I feel like we got a really really good springy palette, although we have moved into summer. But it's still been really really suitable. I think it's been really nice. Um, this shade is definitely the darkest of the ones that I had for the last two weeks. Or actually more than that in this case. But it, it's the darkest shade that I've been playing around with for this last round. Um, I think it's beautiful, I think it's a really really pretty shade and I do love this formula again. I got a lot of my favourite formulas this time around which is great. I just think this is a really really nice kind of bright, happy, cheerful colour and I love wearing this kind of pink on my lips. But I will be keeping this again because I love the formula, I love the shade and I, yeah, I'm just happy with all the lipstick I had for last round. And there you have the last NYX lipstick swatched on my hand. So out of these five, I'm actually keeping all five of them for now. Two of them, like I said, are going in my maybe pile, uh, but the other three I'm definitely keeping. It's not the most successful round so far, but let's just move on to choosing some new shades for next round. So I have my little bag right here with all the lipsticks, which is getting quite light. Um, I reckon I could have probably have finished this if I continued doing it every two weeks, but that's fine with me. I'm just going to finish soon. But the first lipstick will be... This one, which is one of the Revlon lip butters in the shade Lollipop. And there we have Lollipop swatched out on my hand. The second lipstick will be... This one, which is one of my Chanel lipsticks. And this one is number 38, La Fascinette. So there we have the second lipstick uh, from Chanel. Uh, definitely more of a fall time theme so far uh, for this round. The third lipstick will be... This one, which is one of my Burberry lipsticks, and this one is in the shade number 32, Sepia Pink. And there you have the third lipstick color. So the fourth shade will be... This one, which is another fall time color. Definitely going fall time for next round. This one is from uh, Beauchard, and it's one of the... Um, Rouge Edition Velvet in the shade uh, Grand Cru. So there we have Grand Cru swatch on my hand. And the fifth and final shade will be... This one which is also one of my MAC lipsticks and this one is in Cream Cup. And there we have Cream Cup swatched out on my hand. So if you take away the last shade we definitely have more of a fall time palette for next month. But it's gonna be different, it's gonna be a bit more challenging since we're in summer. If I would've gotten like one of these kind of 
poly shades that would have been fine but but I will, we will see what I will do with all five of these um, I will definitely wear all of them but it's gonna be a bit of a challenge since we're in the midst of summer but anyway guys that was it for this video I really really hope you enjoyed it and if you did please give it a thumbs up so I know that you're enjoying my videos um, and I know I haven't been posting very much but I'm gonna try to get back into it uh, so please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out when I post my next video uh, and otherwise I hope you have the best of days and I will talk to you in my next video Bye guys!